After taking the engine apart, I thought I would take the motor off and lubricate it. It's better to take this little piece off here because what happens if you do that, you have to reset the gears. And I didn't know about this set screw underneath the bottom, which allows you to tilt the motor up and down a little bit so you can get the engagement of the gears just right. The bracket where the E unit is, I'm going to remove because I won't be able to mount the board very easily without that. And what I plan to do is actually mount something in here with a hole or something to screw into the bottom of this. I haven't really figured that out yet. The bottom of the engine, once you remove the center pickup, has an area here which I can think I can drill a hole and countersink so that the screw goes all the way up here into the bottom of the board so the board will sit there. This is the inside of the tender. We have five wires going to the engine. Two of the wires go up to the backup light, which I believe there is probably a diode in this shrink wrap here. I plan to use the board to turn the light on so one of these wires will only be needed because I can use the black wire for the supply for the light and the second wire I'll end up using as the antenna wire. I don't plan on making any changes to the sound system in this engine. It's a terrible sound en sounding engine but it's kind of fun and I want to keep it. I just want to get it to TMCC. When I took the engine off its shell I thought this could turn off which actually broke on the other side. I'm going to have to get a new one and push it in. I believe it's not threaded. I think it's just pressed in. You're actually supposed to disconnect from the wheels instead. That was my mistake. A little upset about it, but I think I can find the part and repair that. The board barely fits, but I have put the shell on, and it appears that it does fit okay. In the tenor shell, there are the mountings for the handrails that I might have to cut back in case I'm worried about the board. This little boss here, I have to be careful that I don't mount the board in that area because it might hit that. Um, that approximately goes to this area here. So as long as I'm forward of that, I should be okay. I have taped up the engine, covered everything with shopping bags, um, so I can cut this without any risk of getting cuttings into the parts. Okay, I have my multi-tool here, and I'm going to cut it like that. Piece is cut. Oh well, I guess I can't go back on that. Anyway, it left a lot of shavings. I'm gonna have to vacuum that off real good, and then I'll be ready for the next step. Everything is vacuumed off, and now we just peel off all the painters tape, expose the engine. Even with the painters tape, you can see there's a little dust from the cutting. I had to clean it up really good. I should have probably took more precautions. Okay, the engine, the tab of the E unit is cut off. The engine's pretty much cleaned up. I might need some alcohol on it, clean up some more of the dust. I'm gonna put this about there. It should work. Anyway, um, there needs to be a hole in the bottom here and where the um, pickup roller mounts. Got to make sure that my screw is not in the area where the pickup roller tab is for the electrical. It looks like this. Um, anyway, if it's in that slot, 
and I don't want to have probably put it in there somewhere. I want to be able to still screw it back down, um, not interfere with things. So that's what I'll do. I was originally concerned that the board wouldn't fit, um, but this bottom surface pretty much matches with this surface, so the board's well beneath that. So when it's mounted, it's going to be plenty of clearance. I'll put probably some insulating paper or something in just for good measure, but this should work, I hope. I mean, I've committed by cutting the tab, so hope it works. Now that I've set the motor engagement, um, the motor can be easily turned. The wheels turn the motor easily, um, so I think I got it set good. The screw that comes with the board is a standard 632. I'm going to just get a longer one from the hardware store. Um, I have to get a flat head. This is a pan head. That won't work for me. Um, but I'm basically going to drill a hole in the bottom of this, uh, get a long enough screw, uh, cut the screw to length so it just fits into the board. To attach the switch, I'm going to put some copper tape on the switch and then use solder to build structure to the copper tape. I'm pretty pleased with the final result. It's on there stiff. Switch is solidly mounted with copper tape and solder. It's pretty cool. Here is the engine completely wired. I've wired the lights up, I've wired the switch up, the boards are here, the motor is taped, and I connected all the connections, the capacitors. Everything should be working good.